Kurt Walker here, Chemical and Beverage Department. Today we're going to go over four things that you can check to make sure that your customer's dish machine is operating properly. Clean, sanitized dishes. The first thing you want to check is temperature. Check the temperature gauge while the machine is operating. Don't walk in and check it right away. When the machine's in use, check it. National Sanitation Foundation sets the parameters at 120 degrees minimum. If we're not above 120 degrees, we're not within the parameters and we're not going to clean the dishes. The second thing we're going to check is time. How quick the machine fills up. Drain the machine, fill the machine. If it takes a while to get above the fill line, there's a problem the time it takes to fill up. Then we're not going to get the proper wash time or the rinse time. The third thing we're going to check in the dish machine, and none of this requires tools, is mechanical action. Drain the machine, pull the sump screen out. These are your daily cleaning, daily. Make sure that it's clear. This is where your pump gets all of its pressure from. Put it back in. The next thing we're going to check are the wash arms. quarter turn, quarter turn, pull out. The same on the top wash arm. Check all wash jets, lock them back in. Bottom, top wash arms. They have pins, turn a quarter turn, pull the wash arm out, make sure they're clean. This arm will not even spin if the end jets are plugged. All right, if you do notice that one of these Wash jets are plugged, get a toothpick or whatever you can get in there to clean that out. Well, now you've just put it back in the wash arm. You've got to get it out of there. You don't need any tools. Fit that to the rolled edge, unscrew it. Take it over to the sprayer, spray both ends out. Take both end caps out, put it back. Make sure that it's tightened securely. Put it back in the dish machine. The third and final thing we're going to check is chemical concentration. Check all three pumps with the prime switches. You'll, you'll see the chemical going into the dish machine. All three are fine. Everything's within the parameters. If one of them's not pumping, this goes into the five gallon bucket. All right? You'll see that the line is to the bottom of the tube stiffener. Our number one call when not getting chemical is that this has been pulled up and it's not to the bottom of the chemical. Always check this. Make sure each chemical is down to the bottom of the tube stiffener. Back to the temperature, when I told you, if it's not reaching temperature, do not go turn up their hot water heater. That's something your, your customer or his contractor needs to do. Don't go turn up their hot water heater. You turn it up to reach the optimum temperature here, you burn someone in the public bathroom, it's on us. Don't mess with the hot water heater. Just let your customer know that it's not reaching temperature. These are the things that you need to look for. And if there is something wrong with, with one of these and you can't get, the, get it to pump, you can't get the water to rise, that's when you call us. Call your service department, we'll come take care of it. But these four things to look for will help your customer have clean, sanitary dishes.